no degrees, but I have tons of experience in bookkeeping and accounting. Why am I not getting any inquiries? Okay. Anytime you apply to a job online that asks for a degree and you don't have one, you're getting tossed. Applying online will not work for you. This is, again, I'm going to say this every time I get on these lives because I need you all to hear this. If you are not an exact match for every requirement that was listed on the job description, you are not being considered. So unfortunately, if they're saying they prefer a four-year degree or an associate's degree and you don't have those things, you're being tossed. Can you get hired for that job? Yeah, but not through the applicant tracking system because there's a good 100, 200, 300 people that did meet every requirement there that's going through and being considered. You're going to have to back channel. You're going to have to go to these companies you really want to work for and lead with, when did you know that booking and bookkeeping and accounting wasn't just a job to you, it was a career? Let them hear the story of why you're so deeply passionate about this work and why you're so deeply passionate about them. Then when they see your resume or your LinkedIn profile, they're not going to screen you out because they're going to love your story and they're going to be like, oh, and look, they can totally do the job. The screening out process is horrific in an ATS because it's designed to do that. The screening out process when you back channel is the opposite. They screen you in when you lead with your storytelling. That's what you're going to have to use. Again, folks, if you are missing requirements, if you're changing careers, if you are trying to switch into anything and you don't 100% fit, applying online will not work for you. And I'm so, I know it's hard to hear. And I know you're like, but JT, that's the easiest way to look for work. It might feel like the easiest, but it's not getting you anything. So it's actually the worst. It is the worst way to look for work right now. It is a 97 to a 99% rejection rate if you have the qualifications. It's 100% if you don't. That is why you have to learn back channeling. You have to learn to brand yourself. And it's not hard. It isn't. It's just that you have to learn something new. And a lot of people don't want to do that in their free time, which I get. I was on a session today and I was saying to people, I get it. You hate job search because you've been doing it wrong, but now you hate it. So the idea of spending any time on it literally makes you sick to your stomach. The idea of having to learn about job search, I get it. You don't want to do it because you're so sick of what you've done. But can I ask you something? Is this helpful? Are you figuring out, hey, maybe with the right information, I could do it? This is what working in work at daily is like. 15 minutes a day. There's not a single person on here that couldn't set their, their clock for 15 minutes, watch a video, because that's all you do in work daily. For 15 minutes, at the end of the 15 minutes, you're going to be smarter. If you want to keep going, great. If you don't, you're done. You work daily. That's the name of my company. It's not work it all day. It's work it daily. We understand when people join us, you are mentally exhausted. You are traumatized from the job search experience. I can't have you dive in and do seven hours of job search, nor would I ever let you. That's just insanity. Instead, I'm going to say, take a breath. You're here now. 15 minutes a day, watch a video. 15 minutes a day, come to one of my lives. And as you do that, like little snackable content, all of a sudden the dopamine hits are going to kick. All of a sudden the light bulbs are going to go off, the aha moments. And all of a sudden you're not going to hate job search anymore because you're learning the new way to job search and it is not overwhelming you and it is not sucking the life out of you. So if any of this has made sense to you at this point, I am telling you, stop hurting yourself with job search. Stop hating job search. You're doing it wrong.